So this is what learning should be like. We're watching the children focusing hard on their activity here. They're highly motivated. They're in control of what they're doing. And they are learning more intensively than they ever could if they were sitting in a whole class. And because the computer is interactive, it means that they're getting feedback all the time on what they're doing. So they're able to work independently of the teacher. They get the teacher's help. The teacher sets up the whole class to enable them to figure out what they're doing. But effectively, they are learning to learn independently with the computer. So in this course, we're looking at what it takes to make this possible. Why can't every school offer this kind of learning opportunity for their students? Well, there are many reasons, of course. There are financial, managerial, organizational, logistical, and technical. And we'll be tackling those problems. And we'll also be asking the head teachers themselves what they do, for example, to manage the cost of something like this. There isn't a huge amount of finance involved with this. We've bought the microcomputers for £15. There's always a way of being able to, to do this very exciting curriculum. <laughs> We'll be hearing from the people involved. How do they make this kind of environment work for the good of their students? And what about the teachers? They don't typically have the training to do this kind of thing, and it's very complicated. So we'll also be looking at what sits behind this wonderful spectacle of watching children being able to do their own learning independently, even in quite complex subjects like computer science. You've had a, a go at using the robot arms, and what I want you to do now is program it. And so what I'd like you to do is get it to pick up a piece of sponge, move around, and then lower it and put it down somewhere. Don't drop it. And then reverse the program so that it'll pick the sponge up from where you put it, lift it up, bring it round, and put it back where you started from. Is that OK? Yeah. Off you go, then. I often say to people that a teacher can't know everything, it's knowing where to find things out. And if they can use the skills of the, of the children in their teaching, then in computing they you can um, press the create a situation whereby they are orchestrating what is going on in the classroom, but the children are actually helping one another to use the devices, to program, to do whatever they need 15. to do. Fifteen. Has everyone done that? So in this course, we'll look at the classroom environment and how the teachers orchestrate that to work as well as possible around the technology. So we'll hear from the teachers. What's their experience of making technology work for children? And then, of course, there's the head teachers. What's their role in enabling their own teachers to work with technology and explore and be motivated about how to use it well? Then there's the local school system that sits around the school and then the national school system. They all play their part in working out how to create effective teaching that utilises this kind of technology enhanced learning as well as possible in primary education. So the ambition for the school is to become one of the most innovative places for learning and for the computing learning to spread across to the other subject areas so that children who are amazing at computing realise they can al also be amazing in the core subjects and they have the confidence to do that and the ability to do that.